Hi, this is Dr. Arun Vishnath and today in this short lecture, I will like to answer one of the questions which is usually asked by the patients when they enter a chamber of physician or a gastroenterologist. They ask that is constipation a sign of serious gastrointestinal disease? There is, this is the first question because this constipation is very problematic. Most of the patients who develop constipation is because of irregular diet habit. It is because of lack of exercise, because of lack of fluid intake, less fiber in the diet, or if there is history of frequent traveling. So these patients, when there, whenever there is history of frequent traveling, they may develop constipation. So such type of constipation doesn't require any further clinical evaluation and judicious use of laxatives, plenty of fluids, fiber in the diet, exercise will help these patients and it will be cured. Such type of constipation of acute origin is sometimes precipitated because of life stress, acute life stress. Sometimes students, they develop constipation during examination. Sudden anxiety can cause constipation. So such type of constipation is usually cured by routine measures and it doesn't require any further workup. But if constipation is prolonged, suppose a patient is remaining constipated for a long time and that constipation is without any pain in abdomen then the usual problem is in colon. Colonal, colon, colonic inertia. Colonic inertia means the duration of uh, fecal matter to travel from cecum to sigmoid colon. So in this particular inertia, this particular part of the GI tract, the cecum to sigmoid colon, if the fecal matter takes a long time to travel this particular part then patient becomes constipated and usually this type of constipation is painless. So these patients will require following for follow up for proper workup to diagnose the cause of constipation. Sometimes there is problem with some there is some neurological problem which may cause this the colonic inertia sometimes there is some hormonal problems related to thyroid there is sometimes patient is taking some antihypertensive drugs which may cause this colonic inertia so there are many factors which cause this colonic inertia so this colonic inertia which is causing constipation should be properly studied in a patient to rule out the cause. Many a times constipation is associated with pain. Then usually the problem is in the hindgut. Hindgut means sigmoid colon and rectum, recto sigmoid region. So if there is any pathology in this recto sigmoid junction, then constipation is painful. Either there is some obstruction because of fecolic or there is some inflammation or diverticulums which can cause pain in this region and causing constipation. So if hindgut is affected due to any disease, then it can cause painful constipation. So if there is pain in constipation, always evaluate properly so as to rule out the cause. There are many causes which are related to outlet of the GI tract, that is anorectal region. If there is any problem in that anorectal region, if there is dysfunction of anorectal region, then it may again lead to constipation and this requires proper evaluation. If there is failure of rectal propulsion, why there is failure of rectal propulsion? You will have to study by manometric, by doing manometric studies. If there is failure of internal anal sphincter to relax, why it is not relaxing? You will have to study that. Why it is not relaxing? You will have to investigate in a proper way. If there is dysfunction of pelvic floor muscles, 
why the muscles are weak, why they are unable to propel the fecal matter out. You will have to study that. If there is misdirection of propulsion, that is fecal matter, instead of going out, it is going in a different direction. If it is going anteriorly, anteriorly if there is a rectocele, it is getting lodged there, it is not moving forwards, then that matter should be studied in a proper way. So, whether the constipation is a serious matter or not, you will have to decide that by doing a proper workup. Many a times there is obstruction in the lower GI tract. Then again it will lead to constipation. And it is associated with features of obstruction, vomitings. Patient is unable to defecate. It is absolute, uh, uh, absolute constipation. So in these cases, it requires immediate intervention. So whenever a patient is coming with constipation, if he asks this question, whether it is a serious matter or not, you will have to satisfy him by explaining each and everything. First try, judicious use of laxative agents, exercise, plenty of fluids and fibers. Usually most of the patients are cured by this. Try anxiolytic drugs, try antidepressants, patient will be cured. But if patient is not cured, you will have to do proper workup to make a proper diagnosis. Otherwise, it may create a serious problem. Thank you.